Welcome to the product presentation on PV Statcom Excited Small Wind Turbine. The name of our product is PV Stat SWT. It uses a PV array and a wind turbine to provide a three phase autonomous power source to cater the needs of remote rural application where grid is not available. It provides a regulated voltage under variation in wind speed and irradiation and it works with or without a battery. The product cost is almost one third of the existing small wind turbine. In the existing turbine, it uses a PMSG, while in our product, we use an inexpensive induction generator. The limitation of the induction generator is overcome by the intelligent controller. The intelligent control, the heart of the intelligent controller is based on Texas Instruments microcontroller TMS320F28027. Now we were watching the power circuit arrangement. There is a three phase inverter. The output of the inverter, output of IG and three phase load forms the point of common coupling. The inverter is fed by a PV fed boost converter. The boost converter also charges the battery. The reactive power requirement of IG and load, if any, is provided by the inverter, while the active power requirement of the load is shared by IG and PV. The battery maintains the diesel link in night and during less radiation. Now you are watching the functional block diagram of the intelligent controller. The heart of the controller is a uh, microcontroller from Texas Instruments. Now comes a product demonstration. We use a 2.4 kilowatt PV array available in our college along with the weather monitoring station. For the wind turbine, we used a 3.1 kilowatt wind emulator, which is nothing but a DC motor driven IG. The PV 2.4 kilowatt PV station consists of weather monitoring station, which is installed in the terrace of our building. The weather monitoring station includes speed irradiation and wind speed sensor. The open circuit voltage for the 2.4 kilowatt PV system is 380 volt DC, which you are watching right now. You are also watching the irradiation analog wind speed as well as the temperature. Now you are watching the temperature sensor. The output of the PV is taken to the ground floor laboratory. The remaining setup is kept in the ground floor laboratory. You can watch the PV cable coming right from the terrace to the test bench. Now we can watch the VI characteristic testing of the PV panel. A reuse is connected across the PV, which is varied to see the open circuit voltage and it is short circuited to see the short circuit current. Now the reuse is almost short circuited. You can see the short circuit is current is something around 5 amps and the voltage has come down to less than 50 volts. Now we are watching the wind turbine emulator. It is an induction motor driven by a DC generator, DC motor, sorry. And the speed of the DC motor is varied to emulate the wind speed variation. Now we're watching the speed of the wind turbine emulator. Now we are watching the complete setup. The power circuit, there is a boost converter which is in the left side of your screen. Then there is an inverter that is in the right side of your screen. Now you're watching the load banks. The load is nothing but a three, a three halogen lamps connected to each face. There is additional resistive load bank and inductive load banks. And there is a fluke power quality analyzer for doing the performance analysis of our system. And now comes the intelligent control unit based on Texas Instrument C2000 controller. We were watching the C2000 launch pad, which is the heart of our control unit. The red color PCB. And to the right side, there is a level shifter, which is used to interface the 3.3 volt PWM outputs to the driver inputs of the IGBTs of inverter and boost converter. Now we are watching the level shifters, which convert 3.3 volt to 15 volts. And the, you are watching the power supply. And now you are watching the voltage and current sensor. It is a Hall effect voltage and current sensor to sense the diesel link voltage as well as the P 
EV current. System sequence of operation is listed on the screen. First, we turn on the PV MCB. Then we turn on the MCB between inverter and the load. Then we turn on the IG MCB. Once the wind speed or the speed of the wind turbine increases the cut-in speed, it automatically is synchronized with the system, which is which will be demonstrated now. Now the three MCBs are turned on as explained. Now we can watch the voltage applied to the induction generator, which is slowly increasing automatically in a very minute fashion such that there is no indirect current in the induction generator. The blue color waveform is the line to line voltage applied to the induction generator and the bottom waveform, the red color one, that is the current drawn by the induction generator. You can see there is no, absolutely there is no any interaction in that current which is slowly increasing. Now we are watching the power delivered by the induction generator and the right side you are watching the PV current that is current delivered by the PV. You can watch that as the power delivered by the IG increases 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.68 and so on. You can also watch the current delivered by the PV slowly increases. So, so I'm sorry, slowly decreases. Actually the power of the load is shared between IG and PV. So as the wind speed increases, IG power increases And still, but still the voltage to the load is maintained constant that the voltage is maintained by the PV array fed inverter. So either of the IG fails, this is still the system is capable of working and it can maintain the load. Now we can watch the uh, power variation in IG based on the speed variation. You can watch the speed of the DC motor that is basically the wind emulator is varied by varying the rheostat and you can watch the variation in the power delivered by the IG. It is slowly increased till it almost reaches up.